Okay, so I'm back with another unboxing, just as I promised a few days ago. This one is, as you may have guessed from the sticker here, it's a PCE Works promo package. Now, a few years ago, I posted a video, you can check on my channel, for a Rondo of Blood uh, that I had ordered from PCE Works with my own money. I bought it, you know, just because I wanted to play the, the dang thing in English. And so I, I bought it, and I was very impressed with the quality of the reproduction. It didn't come in the original case or anything like that. It didn't look like the original release. Uh, it came in a DVD case at the time. Um, but it was really slick. It had like a bookmark and a bunch of cool stuff. So if you're interested in that and my initial reaction, check out that video from a few years ago. You'll find it buried somewhere in my channel. Um, but uh, after I got that package, you know, I was in communication with Tobias over at PC Works and we worked out a thing where I basically played through Rondo of Blood and provided some commentary provided to him. He gave me some promo packages. We made, you know, made some videos of that. And also he took that playthrough and commentary and he created a Blu-ray to be released with what's in here, which is basically kind of an anniversary release for uh, Castlevania. And so that was back in October or November. I don't remember when exactly when I got this of 2018. And it's just been sitting on my desk. I just haven't had, I haven't, you know what? I, have just, I just haven't made the time. Especially since I already had like a couple of Rondo of Blood PC Works things on my channel. Uh, again, I had the original one from a few years ago. Then I made that Blu-ray with the giveaway. Um, so anyway, I think it's, you know, it's been sitting on my desk long enough. So let me go ahead and unbox it now. Uh, if you um, go to order it, I'm not, I, honestly, I'm not sure if it's still available to order. It might be, but I know that a lot of their stuff goes out of stock and they're kind of, you know, they're reproductions, but they're still kind of limited runs. There's not like, you know, millions of these made. So uh, sometimes you're kind of out of luck. Sometimes he brings shit back and, and puts it, you know, it depends on demand. But uh, Rondo of Blood has always been one of those things that people were kind of seeking, not only because um, it's kind of a rare and good game, but because um, it's got the translation. So you can always, if you really wanted to, you can go and find the translation and play annulated, but people like me, we like to play stuff on real hardware. I understand this is the original disc, but the PC Engine doesn't know the difference. And I'd much rather play a reproduction on a, PC, a real PC Engine than on an emulation on, on, a, on a, you know, a 24 inch PC monitor or whatever. But anyway, enough about that. Let's take a look what this actual package is. I feel like a, it's almost like a time capsule. I've waited so long to open this up. So let's see what we got here. So I have quite a few of these coins. This one, oh, this one, nice. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a Rondo of Blood commemorative coin. And it's got uh, the Dracula X logo on this side. Oh, kind of hard to see with the glare. And on the other side, we have, looks like Richter and Maria. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Richter, let's see if we can connect. There's Richter on the left side and then Maria there too. So that's really cool. Very nice. And what, what is this? Akumajo Dracula X Gino Rondo by Nashi. Oh, this must be, this must be the artwork. Um, so Nashi, if I recall correctly, did the artwork for the club for the cover of the Blu-ray. And this, this either postcards or so it's got to be artwork. Yeah, these are these are postcards. Very cool. So let me go through these. That that that's amazing. So. I believe, and I don't know anything about Nashi other than, I don't know if it's a it's a woman or a man, but I know that uh, they did a pretty, whoever Nashi is, Nashi did a great job of, of creating that cover for the Blu-ray. Wow, these are some amazing paintings. Really cool. A great game is best accompanied by a great movie. The fearsome, what well, the fearless vampire killers or, pardon me, but your teeth are in my neck. Huh. That reminds me of uh, those old Bullwinkle cartoons where they'd have a title and then like, or, and then like a another possible title. Wow, okay. So, from the looks of these nails, I'm gonna guess Nashi is female, but yeah. This is actually the work um, for the Blu-ray. Really cool, the artwork. There, and there it's coming to life there. 
I'll put a link up there for the uh, video where I unbox and talk about the Blu-ray. Very cool. Here's the finished product. Wow. Here's the, here's the penciling of it. Amazing. I'm always amazed, like, artists that can do stuff like this is it's just incredible. That's, that's like, that's some pure talent right there. Oops. I wonder if she did this too. This looks like something from the 60s. 25th anniversary. I was going to say 30th. I think I made the same mistake last time I made a video. But I said 30th anniversary. But it's the 25th, 25th anniversary of uh, Rondo of Blood. So anyway, that goes there. That was really cool. Um, and, well, should we do that? No, let's do this first. I always, I always like do the meat and potatoes. I always do the meat last, so now we're gonna leave the potatoes for last. Do the meat first. Although that was kind of deserted over there, I feel. That was really cool. Um, okay. So this looks like the shape is like a box set, but I don't know what it'd be a box set of because Round of Blood is just a single game, but we'll see. Uh, no Engine No Life. I have quite a, quite a collection of these now. It comes with every order from PC Works I've ever seen. Um, another yeah, PC Works sticker. Very cool. Dark Left. This is a game that I actually reviewed with my shooter, Shooting Legends 2 video from a few months ago. Um, this is a, a game that was uh, basically found very recently, like a year, two years ago maybe. Uh, it's in a, in a game called Tenshi no Uta 2 which is like totally unrelated to shooters, the, the company that made it um, hid this game, Dark Left, which is an unfinished shooter, uh, in the loading... Well, so if you put the wrong system card into, like, say, the system card 2.0 and you need a Super CD, then it will give you this kind of message, like, hey, you need to put the right system card in order to play this CD game. Um, if you do that and put a special code, you unlock this game, which is crazy. I don't know how people even find shit like that, like so many years later. I, I can only guess somebody was mucking around in the code and found it. Um, oh, catalog, November 2018. Okay, this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. Oh, it's an addendum. Catalog number November 2018. Super Military Commander. Free game with every order, dark left. Still available, Zack 3. And uh, what's it, Startling Odyssey 2? Yeah, PC Memories Deluxe Bundle. So yeah, just go to PCWorks.net and you can see what's the latest available stuff. Their stuff's always kind of going in and out of stock, so sometimes you're out of luck, sometimes you're in luck, but uh, yeah, they have tons of a uh, box sets. I have videos of some of these. Um, some of these I just unboxed and didn't play because I just had too many. But uh, I know I have videos quite extensive of the PC Memories Puzzle and Action box set. Bazaru no Gozaru. Gozaru no Bazaru. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, I have four different videos on that. Um, I have videos on... Oh, I guess that's the only one from here. I have Mahjong Dreams. That doesn't seem to be on here. Maybe out of stock. But uh, here's a PC Memories box set. I did I did a video on the Phantasm Soldier, which is basically Valis. Or Splatterhouse. I think that one's magical chaser. Okay. Oh, Shooting Legends 2. I have videos on this as well. Anyway. Oh, there's Shooting Legends 3? Hmm. Maybe I have... No, I definitely, definitely have two because Cotton's on it. So that's cool. And here it is. The... PC Engine Memories Akumaju Dracula X 25th Anniversary box set. And let's see what this includes. PC Engine Memories Collection brings you a unique selection of... Okay, so it's the same thing all the time. So it includes walkthrough walk on Blu-ray discs. So that's actually... So I guess they took the Blu-ray disc package and they just just included just the disc in here, which is uh, which is still cool that they, that they put it in here. They included it. You didn't even have to buy it separately. So let me, I'm kind of a stick. I need to find the right, I don't like to just rip the plastic off. I know it's stupid, but that's just how I am. So I think this is the seam I want to work with. You know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna have to do this. I don't wanna cut into the paper. Well, maybe I can. 
can do it this way. You know what, now that I think about it, I think in the videos I just did, I just did rip it off. Anyway, almost got it. Okay. Well, let's take a look. Pretty fancy. It's always fancy with these guys. There's always some stuff printed on the inside of this too, so. Yep. There's a little scene of Dracula's castle in there. It's really cool. It's the X. Pretty cool. And there's a spine card. Roger Dracula's 25th anniversary deluxe collector's edition. So here is the game. Oh wow, what is this? This is super cool. It's like a I don't even know what to call that. Gosh, my, my girlfriend would know, like a light box or something. It's it's like this cool, I don't know if you can tell, that's like three-dimensional little wooden scene of Dracula. There's Richter, the Minotaur, Frankenstein. The uh, beast that chases you, uh, him turning into a bat, uh, the wyvern, the werewolf. Wow, that is really cool. Okay, it is a diorama. Okay, when you put the diorama back into the slip case, make sure to put it behind the game's jewel case. Otherwise, you'll risk ripping the diorama's cutout from the front. Okay, well, I'm kind of scared now. There's instructions on how to. Oh, neat. So, you can actually... Oh, okay, you can probably peel, peel the layers off. Yes. It's layered. It's just really, it's like balsa wood or something. That's really cool. Wow. That's just, that's just neat. Never would have thought to do anything like that. I mean, even the little piece of paper that they include to say, hey, be careful not to screw shit up, even that's really cool. And okay, so moving on to the next piece. I'm gonna have to put this back later. Put this together in a bit. I'll put this on the bottom. Um, so let's look at the game. Well, I keep wanting to reach in there because I see it and I know there's a poster in here too. Well, let's go ahead and open this up. Is there like a pull tab? Sometimes they have like pull tabs. I have to use a knife or a utility blade. Yeah, that's good enough. I think I got it. Maybe not. Uh, okay, it's coming along. There it is. gonna win. I'm gonna win. Okay, there it is. So there's the spine card. Man, that looks so good. Just like, looks authentic. Sometimes I guess people think it looks too good, and I can understand that, but super neat. So, okay, so this looks like uh, the original Japanese game, and then the English translated game, which is cool. And what do we have on this side? Oh, more goodies. Man, this thing, the goodies never end. Uh, stickers! open this up. There's a sticker of Richter. Dra in English and Japanese, the Dracula X logo. And two stickers. So in the original release, the one I got that looked like a DVD, uh, these were like bookmarks. Thick Card, like cardboard bookmarks, but these are, are vinyl stickers. But anyway, that's really cool. Like, there's so many goodies, like in, just in every little crevice, like something new is packed. Some kind of little Castlevania related goodie. Okay, cool. Wow, this is a this is a thick manual here. Neat. It's completely in English. So some more cool artwork. This is the prologue. Uh, this is 
when you play the game, this is all the German, I believe, that it's in the, in the game, and here's the translated part. Um, yeah, just directions. Some cool tech tips at the bottom. Very beautifully like done. This paper is like nice and thick, full color, glossy paper, as you can tell from the glare. <laughs> it's just, uh, this is just an amazing package. If you're a fan, even, you know, even if you have the original Rondo of Blood, like you have the original Japanese release, like print, original print, this is still worthwhile, I think, to get. Just that kind of a little collector's piece, you know, in the same way that you'd buy anything, you know, like a statue or, or an art book or anything from a, from a game or a franchise that you love. I don't think there's anything, you know, wrong with just buying this because this, this is more than just a reproduction. This is just really cool. Plus, like, if you don't speak Japanese like I don't, then something like this I really appreciate because it has everything in English. It tells you the, the English names for everything, tells you the story. Um, yeah, it's, it's just really neat. And I mean, come on, Maria Renard, Dracula. Oh, and then, hey, you know what? You're not even missing anything from the Japanese release because here you go. Here's the Japanese version of the manual. Now look at the original Japanese manual. You know, and it's nice looking and all. Certainly nicer than a lot of American releases. But then you look at the the, the translated one and like, I don't know, just looks better. Anyway, that man, that's a good thick manual. So this, here we go. Here's the Blu-ray. Oops. So this is the same Blu-ray that you can get um, if you just bought this separately. And this has the playthrough, and I think it has, yeah, it has my name right there. You can see that? Very proud of that. So this has my playthrough uh, through Dracula X or Castlevania: Rondo of Blood, and it also has my commentary on there. So if you'd like to listen to what I was thinking when I was doing certain things, sometimes you know you can watch some um, long plays, and you're like, "What were they thinking?" And I'm like, "I'll tell you exactly what I was thinking. I'll tell you exactly what I did." what I did when I was playing. So this is pretty cool. And this will work on, of course, any Blu-ray. It won't work on your PC engine because it is literally a Blu-ray disc. You have to put this in a Blu-ray player. So you can put, your, put it into your you know, Xbox or um, you know, Xbox One X or the Xbox One or your PlayStation 4 or just any standard Blu-ray player, it'll work. So yeah, super cool. All right, man, this is, I'm always surprised at uh, the goodies that you're gonna find inside these little packages and man how do I get this back <laughs> back in there we go very cool so it's got the Japanese version the English version tr translated one and the, the walkthrough uh, blu-ray so that's really cool what is oh man look at this just cuz just cuz it's cool I put this on there too all right so finally I get to the the potatoes, since it's dirty to the meat. What is this extra stuff I got? Ooh, there's more stuff on the bottom. Man, there's all kinds of stuff. Ooh, it's, this, this, is feels, this feels thick. What? Oh, wow. So, this looks like, yeah. I was fretting over that plastic for nothing because it looks like this is, yep, it's for your box sets. So like a protective plastic slip case or whatever for the box set. So once you put it back in there, you put your box in here and protect it. Isn't that cool? Or maybe it's this way. Yeah, it's this way. There we go, that's a better fit. So yeah, it comes with it's even a protector for it. That's really cool, that's, that's neat. I like that a lot. I was like, what is this plastic thing that's in here? And then some more artwork, man. I guess this can go in the front. I guess like this. Yeah, so you can even change the, uh, you know, if you don't want to display the original box that you can display this. And it's got one for each side. Maria and Richter and Richter and Dracula. Oh, and it's two sides, oh, neat. So you get your choice of how you want to display it. That is super cool. I wish like when you bought uh, American releases, like real American releases of, of special editions, that this is the type of shit you get. Instead of like some lame statue that that's all there is, 
or some like DLC, which is kind of cool, but like I always end up feeling like that DLC should have been in the game in the first place. Uh, at least a lot of times I do. So just if you're a true fan of something, this is just really cool stuff to have. Super neat. And there's, there's more stuff in here, guys. Let me take this out. Well, all right, fuck it. I already took this out. Let me see. That's a poster. Um, I knew that was coming because I've opened these packages enough times to know that. Okay, so it's the the Nashi penciling for the cover of the Blu-ray. Oh, and then the finished product. Very cool. Wow, the chibi forms. Cool. Very nice. And we still got more stuff. I haven't gotten to the end yet. What is this? What is this? Okay. That's artwork by Nashi. We've seen that before. But what is this? I'm trying to figure it out just from, it looks like it's something circular. Well, let's open it up and find out. Oh man, does it not have a seam? Oh no. I'm, not looking, I'm looking for a seam. Oh, well, there's, it's kind of open on the bottom, so let's go with that. I don't know what this is. There's, there, there, it's, a, it's a disc? Is it a mouse pad? Yep, certified, made in Germany. Certified, made in Germany. Um, it says mouse pad. Yeah, it's just it's, it's a mouse pad. It's got a nice feel to it. Um, probably could use some like non-slip stuff, but it's man, just crazy. I mean, just <laughs> who would think of that? Cause that is so cool. I mean, I say that, but like. If you watch my Mahjong Dreams video, you'll see that they included panties. Panties inside, because it's a strip Mahjong game, panties inside the box set. So yeah, I mean, a mouse pad's not too crazy. Man, that is that is really cool. It even comes like in a cool little holder. Wow, that's nuts. Well, guys, that was the, man, there's a lot more there than I ever thought was gonna be in there. I thought it was gonna be the game, maybe the Blu-ray. But uh, yeah, I will put a link uh, down in the description and I'm sure I'll probably put links up there um, to the other videos I've, I have related to Rondo of Blood. Um, but yeah, very impressed as always, more than I expected. So very cool diorama, mouse pad, Blu-ray with the walkthrough, postcards, collectible coin, uh, poster, right? All this stuff and even a protective plastic um, covering well there it is that it's clear so there it is even a protective plastic covering for your box set to keep it nice and safe very very cool stuff anyway guys thanks for watching if you have any comments uh if you want to shit talk whatever go ahead and put that below i'd be happy to to talk about stuff with you uh subscribe if you'd like uh, i put out videos every once in a while i know i'm a little consistent but um I'm starting to kind of get back into the groove of things. As soon as I get into my new house, which I've been trying to get into for like over a year now, but I think they've locked a solid date of sometime late summer uh, or maybe early fall the latest, then I should be able to set up like a more permanent thing so I can make more videos more consistently. But anyway, stay tuned. And uh, I think I'll have another video here pretty soon. I have a pretty good idea of what that'll be about. But uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next one. Thank you.